Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, Marcos. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Ruth. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Saul. Hello, hello Jacqueline. Hello, Noemi. Hello, Fernando. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Good, good. Very good. Are you ready for your English class? Already, teacher. Thank yes, you. Yes, I'm ready. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I see Francesca dice, estaré en clase solo de oyente porque estoy trabajando. Thank you, Francesca. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What information do you remember? from yesterday's class. What do you remember? Mm -hmm. So in yesterday's class, we were finishing a final exam. Yeah, go ahead, Saul, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, teacher, we were practicing the question in the 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 this this um vocabulary correct correct yeah. uh safe noisy convenient huge um at this moment do you guys have any questions about this vocabulary in particular a uh, pronunciation or meaning of the words Anybody? Okay. Now, for this activity, I would like for us to move forward. Right now, we are working on the final exam. And we finished the first section, and we finished the second section. So in today's class, we're going to go ahead and take a look at enough and not enough. Complete the sentences. Use not enough and the words given. So I want you to complete this activity with your partner, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, complete it together as a class. But first, I would like for you to share uh, your responses with your classmates. Did everybody already finish this activity? Did you guys already finish this activity? Not enough. Everybody finished it? Yes, teacher. You did? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. So we're going to let, for the people that have not finished, we're going to give you a chance to do it together. And then we're going to go ahead and work together and check it as a class. Are you ready? That is section three on the final exam. Section three on the final exam. And I'm going to also let you uh, share your screen. Ready, let's go. Are are in the in the break room? Oh, no, Raúl Antonio. Hi, Raúl. Did you finish the last English huh? test about enough and not enough? Yes, I am finished. Okay. Right. Okay. Is 
Teacher, we person finish the uh, uh, final exam. Is everybody finished? Is everybody yes. finished? All right, let's check. All right, all right, welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and check the activity. I would like for you guys to uh, give me the answer for the first one. Give me one volunteer for number one. One volunteer for number one. Volunteer, volunteer. Number three, not enough rooms. Not enough rooms. All right, very good. Our apartment is too small. There are not enough rooms. Good, good, good. Thank you. At number two, Wendy, number two. People can see into Ur's house. There our, is no- Our, our house. Our, mm -hmm. our house. There is not enough privacy. There is not enough privacy. Repeat, privacy. 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 Excellent, excellent. Privacy. Privacy, thank you. And the last one, number three, my car is too small. It doesn't have... Enough my space. car, enough space. Excellent. Good job. Any questions in regards to this vocabulary? Any questions in regards to the sentences, the pronunciation, or the meaning of the words? Any questions right there? Somebody? Questions, questions? Anybody, anybody? Okay, let's go ahead and continue with the next one which is as many or as much. Please work with a partner and then we're gonna check it together as a class. Work with a partner and then we're gonna check it together as a class. Let's go. Driving. No. Okay. Hello. Hello. Can you share the screen? <laughs> Let me see if I can. Okay.
Ok. Eh, start it me or you. ¿Usted la quiere leer o...? o... Ok. Our, our apartment is too small. There are no, not enough rooms. Ok. People Number can two. see into our house. There is not enough privacy. My car is too small. It doesn't have enough space. Good. Now to, now you. Okay. Our apartment is too small. There are no enough rooms. Number two. People can see into our house. There is no enough privacy. Number three. My car is too small. It doesn't have enough space. Yeah. ¿Sí sabe lo que significa la doble? En no space. No enough. No enough. En, 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 eh, suficiente. Y sí. insuficiente, ¿no? Sí. Ok. Como decía mi bien. O no es suficiente. O no es suficiente. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí. Repetimos. Sí, porque todavía no nos sacan el lado. Ok. Ah, hoy sí vamos para afuera. <ríe> Gracias, Saúl. Ok. All right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answers. Let me have one volunteer. I want you to do number one. Read number one. One volunteer. Read number one. Claudia Maria. My apartment doesn't have my doesn't have as many window as my old one. Perfect. My apartment doesn't have as many windows as my old one. Good job. Good job. Number two, Saul. Number two, Wendy. Our house is as convenient as your apartment. Very good. Our house is as convenient, convenient as your apartment. Thank you. Number three, Saul. Modern apartments often don't have as much space as older ones. Very good. Modern apartments often don't have as much space as older ones is correct. Good job. All right. Does anybody have any questions in regards to this vocabulary or the pronunciation or anything like that? Somebody? No, teacher. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and move forward. We're gonna be looking at expressing wishes. Expressing wishes. Please share your answers and then we will check as a class. Please share your answers and then we will change as a class. Let's go.
I the could. Last one, I could find it. Okay, the next. My me. boyfriend isn't is, isn't in good shape. I wish wish he were in good shape. Where he were in good shape. Okay. Thanks. Can you help me the next section? The first, have you ever eaten Spanish food, right? Yes. Two. I, I ask you because I can see the the platform of you. I made the, the second question. Yes. Yes. I mm -hmm. I have I went to a Spanish restaurant last week. The third question, did you like it? Yes. It was delicious, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, thank it you. was delicious. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hola, mi comandante. Pues la gente ha acudido con que ya está dilatada, ¿no? Hello, hello. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let me have the first one, please, Wendy. Okay, Claudia, number one. Go ahead, Claudia. Number one. Aquí estoy. Aquí estoy. I don't like my new job. I wish I were more fun. I don't like my new job. I wish it were more fun. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Wendy, number two. I can find my find. new cell phone. Find. Find, my new, find my new cell phone. I wish I could find it. I wish I could find it. Perfect. Uh, number three. Number three. Let me have root ahorita teacher okay uh is number 3 my boyfriend isn't in good shape it is uh huh correct okay he were in good shape excellent i wish okay. He were in good shape. Perfect. Okay. Teacher, I have All a right. question. Yes. Why is where and no was? Uh, because it is what we call an unreal conditional. It's the exception. Okay. Thank you. Un unreal conditional. When we use the unreal conditional, the verb is always going to be in the simple past. 
Okay, thank you. Yeah. Normally we would say he was, but because it's the unreal conditional, we always say were. But you are correct. Normally it would be he was. All right, let's go ahead and uh, any questions on this activity? Questions, questions? Over here? No. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at simple past versus present perfect. Simple past versus present perfect. Finish the exercise and then we are going to check as a class. Hola, buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Good night. Buenas noches. Who yeah, wanna read the, the present person, the present perfect person simple? Oh. Okay. Yes, it was If you want, continue with the other section. What, what are you going? <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. Diga. What are you going to do after class today? I am. Uh, the final uh, a movie um, we're going to watch a movie with a friend when I can see <laughs> when thank you when are they going to take <laughs> ya no puedo ver la demás <laughs> When are they going to take their vacation? And the next. I think they will go on a cruise in June or July. I don't know, what do you say, cruise? I think yes. <laughs> the next, please. Me hace falta esa, es la única que me falta. This is a um, reading. Are you reading? Okay, I will read. No. Bangkok is a good place for shopping. Uh, 
Ese es el párrafo que tiene que leer y de ahí contesta. Sí, eso estoy viendo. No, no había visto. The first is true, right? Yeah. Que no sé ahora cómo se Read the parapo or, or just in my mind. Espérenme que yo quiero ver. Si quiere hacerlo más grande, creo que en, la, en el signo más de abajo. Eh. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let me have the first one. Number one, Wendy. Number two, Carla. Okay. Have you ever eaten Spanish food? Have you ever eaten Spanish food? Good, good. Number two, Carla. Yes, I have. I went to a Spanish restaurant last week. Excellent. I went. Number three, please. Adriana. Uh, oh. Number three. The section F. Correct. Okay. Uh, did, did you like it? Did you like it? Correct. Number four, please. Saul. Yes, it was delicious. Yes, it was delicious. Excellent. Okay, guys, uh, any questions about the vocabulary in this section? Questions about the vocabulary in this section? No, teacher. Okay. At this moment, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the attendance. I would like for you to say present when I call your name. Adriana. Present. Thank you. Present, thank you. Carlos. Present. Thank you. Claudia. Present, teacher. Very good. Doribel. Present, teacher. Awesome. Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Present. Good job. Herbert. Present. Excellent. Irma. Present. Awesome. Isabo. Isabo is absent. Okay. Jacqueline Guevara. Jacqueline Guevara, absent, okay. Jacqueline Cermeño. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Cubillas. Juan Cubillas is absent, okay. Juan Maravilla. I'm here, teacher, present. Very good. Teacher, I am Thank Juan you. Carlos Cubillas, present, sorry. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Juan Carlos Cubillas. Thank you, Juan Carlos Maravilla. Carla. Present, Carla. teacher. Excellent. Leana. Present, teacher. Very good. Luis. Present. Good job. 
Marco Quijano. Present. Excellent. Marco Ramirez. Present teacher. Very good. Maria. Present. Excellent. Marina. Marina. Absent. Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you. Raul. Present teacher. Good job. Rene. Present teacher. Awesome. Roberto. Roberto. Absent. All right. Ruth. Here, teacher. Excellent. Saul. Present teacher. Good job. Wendy. Present teacher. Excellent. All right. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead and move forward. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next exercise, which is coming from G, future with will be going to. This one is coming from G, section G, future with will and be going to. Let's take a look work together and then we're going to check it let's go This is a exercise finish. Yes. Okay. Bueno, yo ya los terminé. Practice. Yes. What are you going to do after class today? Number one. Yeah. Number two, I how do you say definitely? How do you pronounce? I don't know. How do you pronounce teacher? Let me check that I, I have this dog also. Let me check. How do you pronounce definitely after? Definitely, I don't know. Definitely, definitely. Okay. I, I pronounce definitely. So I definitely going to watch a movie repeat, with my friends. Repeat, friend. please. Adri. Yo lo pronuncio definitely, pero no estoy segura que esté bien pronunciado. Definitely. Da igual yo, por eso estaba preguntando Teacher cómo Hill. se pronunciaba. How, how do you pronounce? I think it's definitely. I definitely going to watch a movie with a friend. Number three. Number three. Number three. When are they going to take their vacation? And okay. for, I think I think they will go on a cruise. Cruise, cruise. cruise. In June or July, or July, or July. How do you pronounce cruise? ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Es así. Es así, no sé. Sí, que tengo mis dudas también ahí. 
¿Cuál dijo? En el traductor dice cruz, cruz, como cruz. 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 Ok. Ok. Definitely and cruz. Ok. Next exercise. We'll repeat. The next. Pues amor, siguiente entonces. El último oro. Yes. Yes, it's the finish. Y ya leyeron el artículo. El artículo. Yes. Yes. <laughs> if, if you want a... Uh... Please, uh, dele zoom y lo leemos para practicar un poco. Leo el primer párrafo, por si lo alcanzo a leer. Ok, lo acerco Hi, más Paula. si quiere. Sí. ¿Así? Eso. Ok. Yes. Hey, Paula. Paula. Greetings from, from Bangkok. Fernando and I are having a really good time. It's a great, it's a great city for shopping. Yesterday we went to a huge weekend market. It was full of really interesting things to buy, especially clothes. And the prices are great. Things here, things, things here are not nearly as expensive as they are at home. Of course, Fernando tells me I am spending too much money, but you know him. He never buys anything. Buys anything. Me next, okay? Have you ever eaten Thai food? It's delicious. We, uh, we, do, we just, just had a wonderful dinner in one of the restaurants on the river. Fernando ordered green curry and rice. And I have my favorite dish, microwave crispy noodles with, with shrimp and chicken. For dessert, we had fried bananas. Everything was so good. It was also fun to watch the boats pass by. Somebody? Okay. Uh, one thing if not if noticed is that some restaurants make it their curries less spicy for foreign foreign males. Or I yesterday I told yesterday I told or waited this curry is, is isn't hot and now for us he smiled and say some for a como se dice eso for for a for a, a saber <laughs> don't like spicy food then he brought us another curry that was much hotter. Time to stop. We're flying home tomorrow. So I'll see you soon. Rosa. Esa palabra. Okay. La verdad no sé cómo se dice. For, by, um, for, uh, no, foreigners. I don't know. Uh, foreigners. 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 Okay, let me have one volunteer read number one. One volunteer read the first one. Wendy. Adriana, number two. Okay. 
What are you going to do after class today? Very good. What are you going to do after class today? Excellent. Adriana, number two. I'm definitely, definitely going to watch a movie with a friend. Excellent. I am definitely going to watch a movie with a friend. And number three, Maria. When are they going to take their vacation? When are they going to take their vacation? Excellent. Number three, please, uh, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, I think. Juan Carlos. Maravilla. Maravilla. Correct. Num number four. Number four. I think they will go on the or July. I think of the Japanos cruise. 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 I think they will go on a cruise in June or July. Good. good. Excellent. All right. Any questions in regards to this exercise? How do you pronounce the final? July. July. The final. Uh, the finally, let me see. Cruise. No. The number the final, two. In the first, in the first question. Definitely. Uh, second, for, second, second. Uh, definitely, 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 definitely. Correct. Definitely. 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 Yes, correct. Okay, let's go ahead and do the last one, reading and comprehension. Do it in pairs, and then we will check it together, and that should finish the final exam. to the El, la última parte del examen I will do it if you prefer I can share the screen okay let's go Can you see my screen? Yes. This is the reading and comprehension. Let me just do. Okay. Uh, if you want, you can read the, the first the first paragraph. Okay. Hi, Paula. Greetings for Vancouver. Fernando and I are having a really good time. It's a great city for shopping. Yeah. Yesterday, we went to a hot weekend market. It was full of really interesting things to buy, especially clothes. And the price are great. Things here are not nearly as expensive as they are at home. Of course, Fernando tells me I'm spending too much money, but you know him, 
He never buys anything. Next. Uh, Leana, do you want to read? Okay. The second paragraph. Yes, please. Yes. Have you ever eaten Thai food? It's delicious. We just have a wonderful dinner in one of the restaurants on the river. Fernando ordered green curry and rice, and I had my favorite dish, micro, crispy noodles with shrimp and chicken. For dessert, we have friend banana, fried bananas. Everything was so good. It was also fun to watch the boats pass by. Okay. And I get to read the last one. One thing I've noticed is that some restaurants made their curry less spicy for foreigners. Yesterday, I told our waiter, this curry isn't hot enough for us. He smiled and said, some foreigners don't like spicy food. Then he brought us another curry that was much hotter. Time to stop. We are flying home tomorrow. So I will see you soon. Rosa. Let me just go back to the questions. I already have the answer. Yes, the first. It's a bank of, it's a good place for shopping. It's true. It's true. You can I, buy most things except clothes in the market. It is false. It's false. The price in the market are very reasonable. True. 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 Me, crop is the tight name for green curry is false. False. All foreign visitors love Thailand's hot and spicy food. It is false. It's false. Just to stop to share my screen. So right now we have the answers. And teacher, how, how did you pronounce for for it for it in there? No way, way, way. Bye. No problem. No problem. Okay, this uh, hi Paula. Readings for Van Gogh. Fernando and I false. Okay, all foreign visitor. Love this Thailand, is... Thailand, hot and spicy food is false. Okay. Bye. The pronunciation in a foreign. Foreign, foreign, I know. I don't know. Sorry. But visitors is visitors. Did she, did she help me? Foreign, the pronunciation. Teacher, right. are you sleeping? I I think if you push in the pedir ayuda in the bottom pedir ayuda or call the teacher. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Let me have one volunteer, one volunteer. Give me the first one. Read the sentence. 
Juan Volunteer, read the sentence. Adriana. Number two, Carla. San Jorge is a good place for shopping. Is true. True. Thank you. Number two, Carla. You can buy more things except clothes in the market. It's false. It's what? False. Yes, false. False. Okay, thank you. Uh, go ahead, Wendy. Number three, Wendy. The price in the market are very reasonable. Reasonable. It's true. It's reasonable. True. Reasonable. 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 Number four. Number four, Saul. Mini crab is the Thai name for green curry. So that's false. False. Thank you. And the last one, number five, Jacqueline. Raul. Dorivel. All right, Claudia Maria, thank you. Number five, Claudia Maria. All foreign visitor love Thailand. Hot at a specific food. False. False. Okay. Excellent. All right, guys, let's go ahead and read the text. Let me have one volunteer. I want you to read the first paragraph. One volunteer. I want you to read the first paragraph. Who wants to volunteer? Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, say, hi, Paula. Greetings from Bangkok. Fernando and I are having a really good time. It's a great city for shopping. Yesterday, we went to a cheap weekly market. It was full of really interesting things to buy, especially clothes. On and the price are great. Things here are not nearly as expensive as they are at home. Of course, Fernando tells me I'm spending too much money. Would well, you know him? He never buys anything. Excellent. Perfect pronunciation. Go ahead, select somebody else. Another. Um, I, I don't know. Um, Adriana. All right, Adriana, continue. Yeah. Have you even have you ever eaten teacher don't move? <laughs> Go ahead. Have you ever eaten Thai food? It's delicious. We just had a wonderful dinner in a one of the restaurants on the river. Fernando ordered green curry and rice, and I have my favorite dish, me crew crispy noodles with screams. How do you say this word? Uh, shrimp. 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 Camarones. Shrimp. shrimp. And chicken for dessert. We had fried banana. Everything was so good. It was also fun to watch the boats pass by. Excellent. Thank you. Go ahead, Adriana. Select the last one. Um, Wendy. Wendy. Okay. One thing I've no noticed is that some restaurants make their curries less spicy for it. What is the pronunciation, TC? Yeah, for, foreigners. 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 For foreigners yesterday, I told our waiter, this curry isn't hot enough for us. He smiled and said, some foreign foreigners don't like spicy food. Then he brought us another curry that was much hotter. Time to stop. 
We're flying home tomorrow. So I'll see you soon, Rosa. Excellent. All right, at this moment, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in this text? Questions about the vocabulary in the text? Just if you can repeat it again, the pronunciation for shrimp. Ah, uh, yes. Repeat, please. Shrimp. 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 And the other one, it's foreigner or foreigner. Very good. Foreigners. 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 Shrimp. 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 Foreigners. 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 Shrimp. 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 Foreigners. 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 Oh, curry. 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 Yeah. curry. And curry. what is the meaning of? What is the meaning of foreigners? Uh, foreigners? foreigners is extranjeros. Foreigners. Oh. Mm -hmm. Extranjeros. Y curry es un tipo de comida. Green curry. Especies. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. And fried bananas, platano frito. <laughs> yeah. Voy a ir al extranjero a pedir platano frito. Yeah, yeah. In Cuba, they eat a lot of that. In Cuba, in Panama. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and stop right here. Thank you all for joining us. And we will see you again tomorrow. Good night, guys. Have a good evening. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night, guys. Good night.